On this very day, the DOJ released its report on the response to that Uvalde shooting. The report, it's pretty lengthy. It's 575 pages long. Our team spent much of the day reading the findings that have come from the DOJ investigation. It's an investigation Uvalde's former mayor first called for after the mass shooting. Investigative reporter Brian New has been with the team digging into the details to get into the key takeaways from the investigation. Brian, you're joining us now. The question, I think, is that this, or I guess the big takeaways, this report doesn't hold back. It's very detailed. There's a lot of information in it, and it really calls up the failures of law enforcement here. Yeah, the report refers to it as cascading failures, with none more significant than the failure by law enforcement to act with urgency. When the lives of students at Robb Elementary School hung in the balance, a new federal report notes law enforcement failed time and again with no bigger failure than the decision by officers to wait instead of immediately confronting the shooter. As a result, 33 students and three of their teachers, many of whom have been shot, were trapped in a room with an active shooter for over an hour as law enforcement officials remained outside. In a news conference Thursday, the U.S. Attorney General repeated how victims trapped inside waited for help. According to the new report, even after first officers entered the school, they waited for 77 minutes, during which 45 rounds were fired by the shooter before officers killed the gunman. The government report also mentions how law enforcement treated the incident as a barricade subject scenario and not as an active shooter situation. This meant law enforcement prioritized evacuating students in other classrooms instead of rescuing those trapped with the shooter. It also meant officers attempted to negotiate with the gunman instead of confronting him. And it meant that the victims remained trapped with a shooter for more than an hour after the first officers arrived on scene. When asked if these failures cost lives, the U.S. Attorney General answered yes. It had the law enforcement agencies followed generally accepted practices in an active shooter situation and gone right after the shooter to stop him. Lives would have been saved and people would have survived. So this report points out that this idea of not waiting to confront the threat in an active shooter situation is a lesson law enforcement learned after the 1999 Columbine High School shooting. But Doug Nicole, in Uvalde, nearly 25 years after that Columbine High School shooting, yeah. they failed to do this. Yeah. And we still, here we are, what, almost two years later, yeah. still can't wrap our minds around the fact that there was 400 Law enforcement. And from various different agencies with yeah. nuanced training, some of them. And I think that is one of the points that the families keep driving home is that you guys were there yep. and did nothing yeah. for 77 minutes at least. Yeah, and the series of failures mm -hmm. over and over again. The, the word failure in this report was, was mentioned time and again. Mm -hmm. yeah.